feeling like a shark in a shrimp tank. Big fish, small pond in the shrimp tank. Hey everybody, welcome to the post-show wrap-up of The Shrimp Tank. I'm your co-host, Ted Jenkin, here with my co-host, Lee Heisman. Of course, our guest today, Susanna Wallace, who's the CEO of FroButter. You have to check it out at FroButter.com. We had a great interview today. Of course, you can hear all of our interviews at ShrimpTankPodcast.com. Everyone that we've done from Brian Dawkins, Hall of Fame Safety with the Philadelphia Eagles, Tony Horton from P90X, Dr. Michael Bruce, the number one sleep doctor in the country, and so much more. And while you're on this YouTube today, do two things for me. Number one, hit the subscribe button. That way you're gonna be connected to this channel. And two, click that notifications bell. Every week we will deliver you three to six minute videos of our entrepreneur, give you nuggets that you can use so you can start a business, grow it, one day scale it, and maybe exit stage left. So true. We were talking about that earlier. Thank you so much for coming on the show today. So I want you to talk a little bit to our audience. Just give a high level overview. Tell us about your business. Well, FroButter is a hair care company that provides product for people with naturally curly hair, um, textured hair. So if you're having issues keeping it moisturized, we specialize in everything when it comes to moisture. You know, we talked about this on the show and we'll leave the names out. But somebody decided to kind of lift your name a little bit. And I'm wondering if you could tell people how important it is to get a, a trademark on your name when you're running a business. It is super important to get a trademark. And it's not just important <clears throat> to get a trademark through any company. Make sure that you're getting proper legal advice because there are some steps mm. that can be overlooked. And you would think you have a proper trademark um, and then find out that there was a loophole. So it's super important to get proper legal advice when getting your trademark in place. So as you're out there growing either your business or you're a entrepreneur or, or you're just really interested in growing yourself, proper legal advice is important, but proper advice in general is important. So getting a superstar like you to come on here, and we're going to talk about why you're such a superstar in my next question. What is the advice you'd give entrepreneurs? My biggest advice is to hone in on your mental health because this entrepreneurship journey is not for the weak minded. You really have to make sure that you're invested in you, invested in your mental health, and really building that up because it's from that place that your creativity stems and it's from that place where you feel like you can accomplish the things you want to accomplish. So honing in on that sector is important. Great pieces of advice and the reason I said superstar here is uh, if for viewers out there, You've turned how much product? I'm going to say it with my pinky. One million jars. So one million <laughs> jars you've sold, which is quite amazing. You just talk about that just for a moment. It has been a journey. It has been a 10-year-long journey. Um, but our community has really rallied around us. Word of mouth is so crucial. Be making sure that you represent yourself very well um, in the public sector and really live up to your value or your mission of your company. And our, our community has really surrounded us. So representing yourself, if people want to find you and they want to see how you represent yourself, mm -hmm. how would you do that? You can find me at FroButter.com. You can also find me on social media at FroButter on Instagram. Um, and we're there. We're at Facebook at FroButter as well. You can find us there. Is it possible to get on Oprah? Is it, is it that hard to get on Oprah? Did you ever try to get on I've the product I've never list? tried to get on the Oprah's favorite thing. <laughs> that's the next goal in here. You know, if Oprah says, that's it, then the floodgates uh, open up. Uh, thanks so much for coming on the Absolutely. show today. Make sure that you all check out the podcast at shrimptankpodcast.com. And while you're on this channel, there are so many great entrepreneurs. But if you ever want to see how the real estate model got busted up, in the industry. Check out the interview we did with Frank and Rhonda Duffy at Duffy Realty. Mm -hmm. She was the number one agent in the United States for five years in a row. They built a model where they decided to pinprick 2000 and not club 20 every time they sold real estate. Check that out here on the Shrimp Tank podcast channel. And that's your post show wrap up of the Shrimp Tank. I've been feeling like a shark in a shrimp tank. Big fish, small pond.